Meow. Meow. Good morning, sugar boogers. I'm looking terrible, I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just got up a few minutes ago and let some daylight shine through the blinds. You see that? It is a gloomy day, however. Uh, I believe it might rain. We'll see how that goes. I showered yesterday and braided my hair and then slept with it braided so it's got a little bit of frizz going but I am think I'm gonna like the results <laughs> it's gonna be so wavy it's gonna be so pretty I'm feeling a little crampy like I think I'm gonna get my period no I know I'm gonna get my period in a few days I'm just feeling that lower abdominal pain and it sucks because it alters my mood and I just hate it. I hate going to work feeling like this. Especially when you're supposed to cater to people. It's so freaking hard when you're on your period. And girls, you know, you know, you understand me. And kudos to you chicks out there that don't get any pain whatsoever. I am so envious of you. Um, let's trade places because... I want to kill when I'm on my period. These are goggles that my loving stepfather got me for Christmas. Um, kind of a random gift to give me, but that's just how he is. He is random. I need to start getting ready because I take forever to get ready. I take forever to look like nothing happened, but that's just how I am. And my husband is a saint for dealing with me because I take forever to get ready. What are you going to do? I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. I think I got it to stay. I'm praying that it'll stay. Right now, I'm on my way to lunch with my husband. I did text him to let him know that I'm running a little late. So hopefully he doesn't get off right now for lunch. It's gonna take me a good 15 20 minutes to get there but the good news is I'm out of the house <laughs> out of the house always takes me forever to get ready and just leave I don't know I I don't know if it's because of my weight or something but I just cannot get out of bed in the morning I just can't. I used to have so much energy and used to look forward to just getting out of bed and starting my day and now it's like I just want to be home. I honestly want to be a stay at home wife. I just don't want to deal with people. It's terrible. I shouldn't say that because interaction is the best thing you could do. You don't want to be by yourself, locked up in your house all the time. You need interaction with people and you learn a lot of things. But there are days where I just, just can't be bothered. I don't want to sound all dark and depressed and crap. Um, I have to figure out where the heck we're going to go eat because we never know what we're going to eat. We decide that we are going, but we just don't know where. And obviously he only has his hour lunch. So I always have to pick somewhere fast and I'm kind of tired of Burger King. I want something different. What are you guys up to today? Did you work? Uh, do you have any plans? Do you have any plans for the weekend? Just let me know down below what you guys are up to. I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of awkward with these vlog things. I'm still not comfortable going out in public with my phone. Even though it could be like I'm FaceTiming someone. I really shouldn't care what people think. But I'm still not comfortable enough with it. I still kind of hide it. So, at least in the car, it, it looks like I'm talking on the car phone. 
car phone. Who says that? You know what I mean. So it's not like that big a deal. But out in public, talking like this, I, I still can't do it. I'm still a little awkward. But I want to get over it. I really do. I want to just start doing something new and different. And a lot of times, you know, these vlog things are a little therapeutic because you are talking to yourself, but then you know that you're going to put it out on the internet and people are going to watch it. So people are technically listening to what you're saying. And I think that's kind of cool for people that are awkward in person but they still want to say something they still have something to say they could get on their phone and record themselves and then just post it if they want uh, also I think it's kind of cool to save these things for like when I'm old, when I'm old, I can remember those moments. Um, I kind of just remember 50 first dates with Drew Barrymore, how she would forget the next day everything and everyone. So, uh, sorry, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but Adam Sandler would record the stuff they did that day just as a daily reminder so she could remember what she did and see what she did see the people she met and that's kind of the, the way I see these blog things too like if one day I'm old and I don't remember things I can always whoop, I can always look back at my videos and and see like the stuff I did I think that's pretty neat and if it's not me that sees it, it could be like my grandchildren or my nieces and nephews. I don't think I'm going to have kids, guys. I honestly don't think I'm going to have a child, not even one. I can't. I can't. Like I know children act the way they do because of how they're raised, the attention parents give them. But let me tell you something. At my restaurant... I am not getting not one ounce of cravings to have a child at all. I see them at every age group and I don't know, I just don't, I don't have that feeling that people get. I really don't. Anyway, I'm here and I think I'm going to call him. I'll see you in a minute, guys. Just dropped off the hubster, back at work. Ugh. I feel like I have cilantro in my teeth. Let me know if I do. Yeah, I was actually feeling like eating Mexican food. I know there are many people that absolutely love Mexican food and can eat it every day. I'm, I'm not one of them. Maybe it's because I'm spoiled and I'm surrounded by Mexican food because I live in California. I don't know what it is, but I just don't crave it that much. When I do, I devour it. So right now, I'm going back home. Home, really dude, the light is red. Wow. This guy, I swear, people do not pay attention. And I'm the one vlogging. Jesus. I am going back home. But first I'm gonna make a stop at the post office because my husband's last loot crate has arrived and since we live in an apartment building, recently the post office has not been leaving our packages at the door, which I really appreciate very much. I think I wanna open a P.O. box and just have all the packages that I order sent there. And that way, I know for sure that they'll be safe and I don't have to worry about whether or not I'll be home the day it's supposed to arrive. So I think that's what's going to have to happen. Sorry again that you have to see me at this lovely angle. You get to see the true potato face in action. 
or as Bunny calls it, her worm. <laughs> Aging sucks. I can honestly say that and I know I'm not as old as other people, but I am not a teen, that's for sure. Wow, the sun finally peeked out of the clouds. It's such a beautiful day. We are, ooh, that looked fabulous. We are almost to my boba place. Just got done getting from the post office my husband's loot crate. Looks like it had a little bit of damage right there, but that's cool. And then I got my boba, rose milk tea from OT, milk tea and snacks. I like the little face in the front. <laughs> so now we're heading home and I should have a Sephora box coming today I will do an unboxing video separate so stay tuned for that and I'm gonna wait for this car to leave because I don't wanna <sighs> I don't want problems all right guys we're home here's the parking lot of my apartment complex looks like everybody's out to work which is a good thing um that was one of the criteria i was looking for in the apartment complex that i was staying in i didn't want a lot of people staying home because you see bad stuff and you can tell it's gonna be ghetto ghetto i said it ghetto so yeah i'm gonna go now and i'll see you in a bit hello guys i'm back and it's night time oh my gosh i suck at this vlogging thing i am so sorry i came home from having lunch and running my errands to play with my cat and he likes to lay right here on my bed so i started playing with him and i sort of kind of knocked out i fell asleep for like an hour and then i woke up and my husband's home already so <laughs> i'm yeah i'm terrible i'm I did almost miss my package arriving at the apartment. I almost had to return to the post office and that would have just made me so angry because I hate doing that. I hate it. I have to do it, but I hate it. So I did get my Sephora package and I opened up one of the items that I got and it's from Clinique. I was super excited when I saw it in the sales section and I'm just gonna show you. I'm wearing one of the colors on my lips right now. The lighting is just doing something crazy right now. I don't understand why it keeps flashing like that. I apologize, but it's a lip product. And this is called, oh, geez, what's it called? Mega Melon. So, eh, this lighting doesn't help. Can't really see how pretty it is. They're 20 chubby sticks and they're mini. Look how cute they are. And it's like a beautiful range of colors. So I'm really excited to try them. I want to do a separate video swatching them. And yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So right now I'm gonna go get some dinner and then hop on YouTube and watch some of my favorite YouTubers and possibly edit this video. So it'll probably be up within a couple of days. I really hope you guys enjoyed the talk that we had today. Um, I'm going to try to improve my vlogging skills. Um, I really need to get another phone case because this one doesn't really help me with putting it in my little carrying stick. It's My case is kind of like a wallet thing. So 
I'm going to see how I can try to fix that so I can do better videos and show you around more. Um, I hope in the meantime you can bear the vlogging style that I'm doing at the moment. And I really hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. And I hope to see you in my next video. Give me ideas on what you want to see or if you do want to keep seeing vlogs. I'm going to try my very best to get better at them. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.